Hey guys, and welcome to another video right here on Tetra Bay Gaming. When most people think of Nintendo these days, it's unlikely that the first thing that comes to mind is their arcade games rather than their more mainstream and popular home and handheld consoles. But of course, there is no denying Nintendo's arcade successes in the 1980s and just how pivotal some of those games were for the company. Now I'm actually in the process of working on a video diving in quite deeper into Nintendo's history with arcade games, but when researching there was one game in particular that caught my attention that I haven't really seen discussed anywhere on YouTube. And before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out to all the Big Club channel members both new and old. We've pretty much doubled in count since just last December, so I just want to give a quick thank you to all of you. If you would like some more information about maybe joining the Big Club and getting some extra channel perks, like having your name show up at the end of each video, be sure to click on that join button below. Anyways, with all that said, let's get to this elusive arcade game, shall we? Making its Japanese debut in December 1998, Mario Party soon found its way onto millions of Nintendo 64s. Although some of the original charm of the early games went to be uh, a bit <laughs> neglected in future years, the Mario Party series has basically become a Nintendo multiplayer staple, along the likes of Mario Kart and Super Smash Bros. Many of you may know about, or have even played, one of the Mario Kart arcade games that have been made, but there have actually been quite a few Mario Party arcade games made as well, albeit only in Japan. Now, I'll go over them in more detail in my upcoming Nintendo arcade game video I mentioned earlier, but the one Mario Party arcade game in specific I want to discuss in this video is the one known simply as Mario Party Fushigi no Challenge World, which translates to Mario Party Mysterious Challenge World in English. This six-player arcade game is based on Mario Party 9 and was actually developed by Capcom. And shockingly, it's considered to be the 21st Mario Party arcade game overall. Yeah, before this week, I hardly even knew of any Mario Party arcade games, let alone there being over 20. Anyways, Mario Party Mysterious Challenge World did get released in Japan in 2016. And then, after dropping the word mysterious from the title, it saw a very limited prototype test launch in America in 2017. Honestly, I think this looks like one of the most fun arcade, or rather softcore casino games I have ever seen. At its core, it's essentially a big Mario roulette game, but of course there's much more to it than that. You legally can't say the words Mario and Party in the same sentence without mentioning minigames, but thankfully this game has plenty of those. After placing your bets, each player partakes in a minigame that varies from a tile matching game to a bingo tic-tac-toe style game, a pink ball popping minigame, some fishing one, and more. On the side of a player's screen, you can also see what the other players around you are playing and how they're doing as well. And on top of all of this, this game also features some sort of Mario Party board game element as well as boss battles. That's right, players could actually team up in epic battles to defeat Wiggler or Bowser with some balls. Right, so even though the game made its way into some Japanese arcades, it apparently had a rocky journey getting stateside. Like I mentioned, there was a very limited number of these prototype units brought over to the United States by one of the biggest arcade companies, Raw Thrills, one of which was publicly seen at the International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions, or IAAPA, Expo in 2017. Think of this expo as E3, but for arcade games and theme parks and such. Anyways, despite gambling already being illegal in Japan, the Japanese version still very much resembles how many casino games operate, not to mention it was a roulette-style game. So, it was known that this prototype was going to be altered quite significantly to a more acceptable ticket redemption game for US markets, with a bigger emphasis on skill rather than just on luck. Can't have kids learning about gambling now, can we? So the first apparent difference with the US version here is the complete lack of the really cool screens each player had in the Japanese version. These awesome screens were removed in favor of... 5 buttons. 
Again, this was a prototype version, so maybe they were going to be re-implemented, but the screens in the Japanese version and their associated minigames offered a very large portion of that experience, so I think it's weird they'd remove them. Other than that though, the core gameplay seems to have been reduced to just a basic roulette style game. Though thankfully, the Bowser battle still returns, albeit again, quite different visually. The 2017 IAAPA Expo came and went, and the game was slated for an appearance at the 2018 Expo, as well as a full retail release in the spring of that same year. 11 months went by without much news about the game. That is, until an anonymous source sent in several photos of a revised, but still prototype version of the game found in the wild to ArcadeHeroes.com. As you can see in these pictures, the game was nerfed even more in this iteration. The biggest reduction was the player size, which was reduced from 6 down to 3, which I think was very surprising. Obviously, more players likely correlates to more coins spent, but I suppose size was probably a consideration in this reduction. Another big change was, well, the game overall. You'll notice that the player controls were reduced even more this time around to only a single button. We went from this to this. And although this iteration still uses the same projection mapping style as the original, gone is the roulette style gameplay completely in favor of what looks to be a more basic traditional style Mario Party board game experience. Well, as traditional as you can probably get when playing with only a single button. Unfortunately, these three images were all that was available at the time. No matter, the game would still be seen at the 2018 IAAPA Expo. Right? Well, the 2018 Expo rolled around, and Mario Party Challenge World was nowhere to be seen. And the company that was spearheading its western localization, Raw Thrills, was silent on any news at the time. The expected 2018 release window for the game seemed to have been missed, and the game's status and future was a mystery. It wasn't until April of 2019 when one, Michael Leon, uploaded a video tour of the Synergy Arcade in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Lo and behold, in it was proof that these arcade cabinets were still in the wild. Did they get some sort of small, quiet release under the radar? Unfortunately, the video is very shaky, and Mario Party Challenge World is only seen for a few seconds. And still, there hasn't been any documentation in video or text form at all as to how this game plays exactly. I guess perhaps the person that took this video may not have realized just how rare this game was. This video was sent into Arcade Hero of ArcadeHeroes.com, and seeing this footage prompted him to reach out to Raw Thrills to inquire about the game's status. Unfortunately, the news wasn't positive. Rothrills had confirmed that Mario Party Challenge World's international journey was officially halted. Arcade Hero was told that although the project was cancelled, the few prototype units that were made were sold off to certain locations like the one that was seen at the Synergy Arcade in Tulsa. It is currently unknown just how many of these games are left in the wild, but it is estimated that the number is very likely in the single digits, I guess technically making this one of the rarest Mario games in existence. If you live near the Tulsa Synergy, I absolutely urge you to go see if this game is still there, and if so, to give it a whirl, because who knows how long this version will still be playable. And if you do see it there, or at another arcade somewhere else, please grab some proper video footage of it and share it on the internet so at least the gameplay can be properly preserved in case these machines start disappearing forever. On the flip side, although the game was shelved, it may not be forever, or perhaps some of the ideas developed here may be implemented in future Nintendo games. Why exactly the western adaptation of the game was cancelled isn't certain. Perhaps either Nintendo, Capcom, or Raw Thrills felt the game just wasn't quite there in terms of quality. Or maybe it has something to do with Mario Party 9 being relatively quite old at this point, and maybe something new is being tabled based on Super Mario Party instead. Who knows? Mario Party Challenge World certainly had a tumultuous transition path from its original gambling-esque Japanese version to adapting to a version deemed more acceptable for Western standards. Towards the end of the localization, they were hardly even the same game. 
And maybe that's for the best, because I'm sure if the Japanese version made its way into any arcades near me, you'd catch me playing it there for hours and hours on end. And that is basically where we're at with Mario Party Challenge World. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop a like down below as it really helps me out a lot. And again, stay tuned for my video where I'll be covering Nintendo's entire arcade history. When it's done, you can check it out by clicking or tapping on the card right here. Be sure to subscribe for future videos, swing on by my other social media things which are all linked in the description below, and if you would like to support the channel, check out my merch over at tetrabitgaming.com. Anyways guys, thanks for tuning in, and I will see you in a bit.